Welcome, UNH fans, to the very first UNH Top 5 Plays of the Week. A lot of action over the weekend for the Wildcats, so let's get started. Coming in at number 5, Grayson Downing of the men's hockey team. He slips up on the play, but still finds a way to put home the empty net goal from his behind at half ice. Finishing off the Spartans from his backside earns Grayson the number 5 spot. More from this game later. Next up, we have women's hockey versus UVM. Sarah Carlson with a beautiful toe drag and finish to score the third goal for the Wildcats. One more look as she turns the defenseman inside out and taps away the puck through the five hole of the Vermont goaltender. What a move. At number three, we head to Rhode Island with the football team. Andy Vallis fires the long bomb to Mike Kelly, who reaches over the double coverage and dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Let's check it out again. Kelly getting his vertical on, snatching the ball away from two defenders, getting the touchdown. We're back on the ice for our number two play of the week. Andrew Potorowski battles on the boards and gets the puck to freshman Warren Fogle, who has a no-look between the legs pass to Tyler Kelleher, who redirects the puck to the upper corner to put the Cats up 3-2. Another angle shows the quick one-touch passes and the chemistry between this double freshman and sophomore line. Our top play of the week comes from UNH Women's Soccer. Two goals down in Hartford secured the first ever America East Championship in program history. Brooke Murphy taps in the ball to the inside post, and then Caroline Murray finishes across with the outside of her foot to secure the victory for the women's soccer team and their first ever America East title. Congratulations to the UNH Women's Soccer Team, and we'll see you all next time for our UNH Top 5 Plays of the Week.